Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubarak and I welcome you to our 42nd lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. As you know, always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our counter. Without wasting much time, let's go straight to, into our today's business. So you still remember in the previous lecture, we were able to complete uh, the sales logic and uh, uh, mastering of the sales logic as well as uh, viewing the details of the sales logic. So that's what you, did, you were able to do in the previous lecture. Now in this lecture, we are going to do what? We are going to proceed from there. We are going to do the mastering of employees, categories, subcategories, and financial periods. And then after, we shall go now to the reports and finish the remaining modules. So let's go straight into uh, the business, okay? So we shall come back to these statistics after we finish these ones. All right, so uh, let's go straight into today's business. Uh, so we come here to employees, so we're going to work on uh, maybe a single employees page where I can see the employees details and also uh, I think this employees, okay, only just we may need to display their what, uh, their details, maybe, yeah, this employees I think it's okay, we can leave it there because most of other things they'll be found on web. So let's proceed with the uh, store categories and the subcategories, okay? This one here, uh, there is much more that we can do here. So we're going to begin with the displaying a stock category details, and then we shall come back on the listing, okay? All right, let's go straight into that. Let's go straight into that. So I'll go ahead and press Ctrl Shift F and search for stock. Okay, can as well find it here. Stock, uh, stock categories. We shall come to stock category screen. All right, uh, so we're going to create the store categories details screen, okay? Well, you can see the details of store category. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we're going just to borrow the one that is already existing, okay? So I believe we have uh, some here, for example, this stock details, stock item details, okay? So I'm going to copy this stock item details and come and paste it here in this folder of stock categories details. Uh, so I'll come and say stock, so it's going to be stock category details okay so let me come here and change this one stock category details screen so i'm going to copy the whole of it okay this word and then press enter so here it is this one here so i'm going to select everything here by pressing ctrl shift f alt and enter and then paste it here this one here okay so after doing that i'm going to change this one so it can receive the stock category so I just simply come and say stock, uh, stock category model. So if you're receiving the stock category model. So let's go ahead and change here a few things. For example, here. So uh, this one is going to be the stock. So when someone clicks on this edit item, it should be stock category. Stock category create, something like that. Stock category create, okay? So this will be the screen when someone click on the edit, okay? So it's going to be stock category, stock category details, like that. All right, so let's go ahead and remove unnecessary things. For example, this one, let me go ahead and remove this. Let me remove this one. Let me come and remove uh, this one, the one that we are not making sense, and remove this created by, all right? So what else? Still crying. Come and remove this one also. All right. So well, that's it. Uh, that's it. So I'll save and then I'm going to link this one with the what? With our stock category uh, from the stock category details screen. So I'll come to our. I'll come to our what? I'll come to our. What is it? <laughs> I'll come to our stock. Stock, 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 stock categories screen. Stock categories screen here. Stock categories screen. So I want when someone clicks here, they should be taken to the stock category details screen. So I'll come to where there's a list view here, list tile. So I'll go ahead and add on tab. Sorry, on pro, on what? On press, I think it is here. So I check if it is picker, it will pick and I return. So if it is not picker, I'll go ahead and put get the two. And then open 
so you should proceed to this so I go ahead and put the item like that okay and then go ahead and import it all right so when someone clicks on this they'll proceed to this store category details screen so let's save now we should click here you see you got store category details screen so since it is just like the other one so you should just simply put this one all right so uh let's go ahead and see a few things that we're going to add here so then press control and click here so we are on store category details screen i'll go ahead and uh, and do what and open it the model and we see a few things that are going to display so let me go ahead and copy these things and go back all right so here we are so what i'm going to do i'm just going to paste these things here okay these things here and then come and remove this um come and remove uh these uh so credit that i don't think we need it so let's remove the thing that we're going to we're going to we're not going to display remove this one remove the the what remove the company id remove the company text don't need that the name i think it's already displayed here it is here uh the description and uh, description it is already there uh the status i don't think we need to display the status but you can display it let's go ahead and display it. the image already displayed uh buying price uh, buying price i don't think uh this one you need to display it do we need to i don't think there's any information there and then the selling price and the profit expected <laughs> all right so we can see that how much like the total investment that you put in these two categories and also the total sales that you've made and then the profits okay and then let's let's go ahead and display that okay uh so let's go ahead and display that i think that's already there so we have here and profits so you shall go ahead and and, and profits all right so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that so if you have buying price so you can put here maybe total investment uh total investment total investment so how much you've purchased things buying price and then here put total what total sales and then here we put profit orders okay so go ahead and put expected profits okay expected profit so that's the expected profit and now you can put now the actual profit which will be the buying price minus selling price okay so i'll just duplicate this one and then put money format like that uh, okay so let's go ahead and display um let's go ahead and display let's go ahead and display what let's go ahead and display the sales or profit sales or profit i mean uh actual so i can just simply put here profit or loss which will be pro, uh, sales minus minus profit and okay I think this was yeah it's also already there so profit and which is the total sales minus the total investment let's see if it is correct yeah, i think it is correct if remove this one minus this one expected profit for the six six here yeah. and yeah i think that's it for the profit and okay All right so uh let's go ahead and now display yeah, so that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it so maybe that created i don't think it is very necessary here i can remove it okay okay but this one make it details all right so that's it that's it that's it uh-huh so you can go ahead even and edit all right so let's go back so you can see the total investment total sales expected profits and also uh the actual profit that has been earned okay so let's go ahead let's go back and do what and display here some more things okay what do you think we need to display here okay we may need to display the let's see let's come and see what we may need to display how uh, can we may need to display the the profits okay maybe we shall need to display only the profit okay the profit so someone can know whether they're in profit or in loss of that what of that item that's what i shall need to display there i think 
okay so maybe what we shall we need we shall need to put uh, a search hmm? yeah okay we may need to put a search uh what else sort okay sort uh by profit uh -huh. what else do we need to put there i don't think okay sort by fraud by profit ah, the rest will be done on the dashboard <laughs> the rest will be done on the dashboard let's leave that one there because we're going to provide the dashboard and all those things shall put them on the dashboard okay so let's leave that, that one there and now we go ahead and uh, put the and master uh the stock stock what stock stock subcategories stock subcategories this one here okay stock subcategories uh so i'm going to create the stock subcategory details screen i think let's just display here one more thing just okay just let's just display here the profit or loss okay profit or loss uh so to do that uh we shall come here um profit or loss we shall come to subcategories here uh stock categories let's go back here to stock categories items now here on the subtitle subtitle i think the description is not necessary here you just need to display whether it is profit or loss something like that okay so let's go ahead and see uh so how can we do that we can simply put here uh container okay Yeah, so that's it. I think that's it. I can even remove this column. Okay, so if it is profit or loss, it will tell you whether we're making loss in this category or not. Okay, so yeah, that's it. I think that is it. That is it.
Mm. Let me just search this one. My name. Alright, so that's it, that's it, that's it. Let's proceed to mastering the, those are categories, let's proceed to mastering the subcategories. So let's master the subcategories. So we're going to begin by creating the categories details screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to look much more like a, like a sub, like category detail screen, okay? So let's go ahead and copy the category, store category details screen, I'll copy it and paste. I'll call this one stock subcategory details screen. Stock subcategory details screen. Okay, after doing that, I'll just press uh, Ctrl F. I mean, yeah, stock subcategory details screen. I'll then just come here and remove this one. Rename this one. Ctrl F, Alt and Enter and press there. Stock subcategories details screen. This one here. So after doing that, let me come here and change this one to stock sub category model. So it is what we'll be receiving. Let's come and remove what is not working here. So this one's going to be stock sub category create screen. Stock sub category create screen. Okay. So stock sub category, you know, it is just like uh, just like uh, stock category. So let's go ahead and redirect this one so i'll come to i'll come to stock subcategory so i'll come to stock subcategory so i'll copy this so I'll come to stock subcategories screen stock subcategory screen let's go to it it is uh, here stock subcategories screen and then you come here on the on top okay list style list style here it is not picker you should proceed to the details screen so i just simply put that stock subcategory details when i import it and then we are good so if i save now someone will be able to sorry about that uh, when someone clicks here now someone will be able to do what to see the stock subcategory detail screen. Okay. Yeah, so you're able to see the stock subcategory detail screen, which is very nice. Alright, so if you click here, you're able to add stock subcategory. Now let's go ahead and do the searching here. We're going to add at least search and also sort and also maybe display also the profit or loss. So let's go ahead and display here. Um, let's go ahead and display here what? Let's go ahead and display here the profit or loss. So we shall come here to categories and borrow profit, profit or loss. And subtitle. Then you go to subcategories, subcategories screen, and go to subtitle and replace it with profit or loss like this. You see? So we have the same thing. Good, good. So that is that is very nice. Uh, so yeah, that's okay. That's right. That's right. Uh, so what else? What else? What else? Uh, what else? I think that is the stock categories, stock subcategories. Mm -hmm. Now let's add, let's add the search engine. Okay, let's add the search engine.
Okay, let's add the search engine. So someone should be able to search. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's first put the okay, let's add the search engine. So we're going to come here to stock subcategories and then come here and put a boolean and say search mode search mode and say false okay then we're going to go to where there is uh, actions in scaffold up bar and then we we'll put actions and then we do a button that is going to be toggling the search mode okay so it is just a icon button that's going to have a search icon and then to be checking on press it will go ahead and set the opposite of search mode like this and then set state you can see how i've done it here okay so uh we install subcategories or is it stock subcategories uh the button should be black maybe so you can be able to see it uh let me put here also what a spacer of 10 so it can build a bit in front uh -huh. so let's go ahead and put here the icon if it is so i say if the search mode is on it should show the close okay like this so if i search so i should be able to see when i click here it is on off on off like this so let's go ahead and put here a string and call it search keyword string and say search keyword search keyword by default is nothing okay so after doing that we're going to come here to our our what our title and then put search mode and say question mark so search mode you put question mark and uh, we say if it is in search mode it should open the text field you see it is opening the text field and we say out of focus to be true and then we put the decoration the input decoration put search and then the text style is going to be uh, black i think it should be black here and then input border should be none so you should remove the input border and then you say the style should be black the black style i mean the text yeah maybe it should be gray something like such okay maybe gray with shade of 700 all right so unchanged so when item will be changing we shall be calling uh we shall be getting the value and and update the keyword you put here to string make sure that it is uh it is what it is a string and then you say set state okay so maybe we can be calling here the what the my init okay we call here my init like this so it can prepare things again so if i save here i come here and do you see the search will show up and the keyboard will show up so i can go ahead and put like this so every time i change here the quad is changing but the search is not showing so when you close here it closes all right so let's go ahead and do now the logic okay here so i can first check uh, i see if the search keyword is not empty so i'm going to say if the keyword is not empty i'll go ahead and say items get items i say here get items okay and then i put uh where and then i put a uh, name is like and then i put the keyword okay and then if it is not that i just go ahead and put the else part and then search this like without anything without putting uh, the logic okay so let's go ahead and save you see that see that so it will put that where so we come here and put so it is not showing all right so i think here our, all our gates they are not passing the where to the local that is another challenge that we have to put in our compiler i mean in our 
you know what in our um, you know what in our cause in in our generator so here you see when you're getting here not passing the wire so let's have let's pass the wire so the wire that is coming we're also passing it to this one because maybe where is always one something like that uh -huh. so let's save let's save now if i come here and put s see it is not showing let's see what is causing that uh, so if keyword is not empty let me put here the keyword okay print and see if it is coming we'll compile here so uh -huh. let me come and put this okay so there's some error i think let's first remove everything you see keyword is not coming all right let's put it here on top here save let's see the keyword if it is coming or it's not coming so i come here and put test so the keyword is here test uh -huh. so it is the search that is not implementing it okay so i believe here get items you are passing the where and the where here uh, so this where we need to pass it here again all right yeah it's not working okay so if you come and remove this now you can be able to search okay so if i close when i close you should be able to do what refresh everything so when i close when i close then i close so i check here let me come back here to store categories subcategories so i check if the way is not empty i go ahead and search if it is empty i go ahead and pass get items so i can say maybe here where i just will simply say where goes to one all right so i save come here and search see serious okay so when i remove everything everything comes back so i put vegetables brings vegetables when I put drinks, it brings drinks. Okay. And I close, everything is okay. So I want to see here. So when I come here and search uh, drinks, it shows drinks. Okay, so the search engine is working. Alright, so that is it. I think that's enough for the for the what? For this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go back here. Mm-hmm so those are stock details mm, what else what else what is uh we go to financial i mean i think we need to go to now the uh stock items stock items do you have them stock item which are here products i think we need to add the search okay we need to add a search engine okay because it is not there but we shall need it of course so let's go ahead and also let's go here and add also a search engine because it is necessary when you want to add something we want to search something i mean we want to create a financial a, a record we need to have a what uh, a search engine so let's go ahead and add a search what a search engine okay so uh let's go ahead and copy the logic here okay i think we shall just we shall just we shall just almost use the same logic so let me just come here and copy this let's just go let's just copy the okay let's so let's first go to the stock items screen 
So we're going to copy almost the same logic here. So she'll go to stock items spring, stock items spring, which is here. And then after going to stock items screen, I'm going to put here the other boolean of search mode. So let me come here and copy this keyword. Okay. Come and put it here too. Okay. So in, uh, in, in stock items, okay, after getting the keyword, let's go ahead and get also the um, search mode. Okay. Search mode. I'm put here. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So search mode. So we come and put this search mode question here so come and copy this the up bar this one if it is in search mode you should show the up bar and do the same thing so you come and paste it here as well on this title next this title so that is okay uh -huh. so what else we need to put that action that is toggling the search let's go ahead and copy it okay and come and add it here to our actions okay let's come and add it here our actions have this button i don't know where i should put it i should put it after add i think after add between add and the menu yeah so it can be there so someone can decide to search or can decide to close all right so i think yeah we can go with that uh -huh. so now let's go ahead and put now the real search logic search logic is going to must all to look the same so i can just simply copy this my init and come and put it in my init Hmm? No, my this my init has a lot of things. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to put here the last, 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 last item. Okay, we're just going to check this one. If it's not empty, to go ahead and do the search here at last. If it is not empty, to go ahead and look the search. Okay. So this is going to be just stock items like this. I think that's it. So it is not empty, to go ahead and do the search. Okay. So let's go ahead and try. So click here and then search nice carrots okay it's not working because of our generator we need to add um the other whereas in the get items so let me go ahead and put on get items here uh so if you have to add here the where i have added the where there okay and also have to add here the where get online okay sorry okay yeah 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 thank you this is empty should do that oh sorry should come here yeah 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 yep so i think we're good now so let's try to search see nice carrots uh carrots uh-huh jx see everything is beautiful and i want to close searching i close it here all right, so I think that's that's good. That's good. I think that is good. I think that's good. All right, so maybe we can do better here. We can do better here. We need to display the selling price, something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here. Stock records. Stock records. Stock records. Stock records. Stock records. Stock records. Yep, 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 yep. I think that's i think that's nice i think that is nice all right so i think that's it i think that's it we can we can we can just skip it from there we can keep it from there we can keep it there good enough you can create your sales records you can do whatever yeah products you can see the products so only that here we don't need we don't know whether this is a price so it is the current quantity we may need to display that okay so let's go ahead and um, do that at least we display that is the current quantity or something of the sort all right so let's go ahead and go to stock items stock items i think we are there stock items screen okay stock items screen stock items screen okay stock items screen uh yeah so let's go to here to our what let's go to our okay to our trailing 
put here gx at least you show that is the price uh then we come here to our subtitle we can do better we can do better let me go ahead and put here some container okay we can do better at least we should display um the current quantity something like that what are displaying here <laughs> uh come here and put a column i mean child and put column and then you can put here maybe uh, current quantity so it's the children should show so you're showing the, the current quantity the buying price the selling price yeah i think i think that makes much more sense yeah we can leave it there though it is spending too much space but you can leave it there so someone can be able to know maybe if you remove the buying price okay you can remove the buying price until someone clicks and then they, they see the details let's remove this buying price okay it's just a row and the what the details selling price yeah selling price and the buying price uh, so here you can use like a gray and shade of 700 so it can be that much so it be that much sharp okay gray and the shade of that are of 100 so it shouldn't be that much sharp okay here current quantity current quantity is not in UGX it is in units Okay, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do the finishing. Okay, do the finishing now. Okay, we we'll do the finishing. let's do the finishing <laughs> let's do the finishing so we're going to come here these numbers we're going to remove them i'm going to remove them we're going to put just a description and also this one and also this one then the statistic we're going to link it to the web that if someone wants to access it we tell them to proceed to the web likewise to the dashboard i mean to the to the to the dashboard Mm -hmm. then uh, after we shall uh, do the finishing of these ones okay so you can know the app is done all right so let's go ahead and do that so we shall go back to our home page okay i'll go back to our home page Main menu, sorry. <laughs> what do you call this one? Menu route, this one, eh? Sorry. Been looking for it. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here, let's go to the menu route, which is this one here. Uh, so, here on sales, you can put there some description. Um,
so that's big so let's make this one uh, bigger Okay, let's put so I'll put this uh, so many routes. Okay, all right, let's just master these things in the next lecture. Let's master the application in the next lecture. All right, you're going to master it and mark everything as complete. And uh, the rest will be done on the web. All right, let's meet in the next lecture.